Welcome back to the Budget Gamer channel where we bring you critical and in-depth reviews of just about every indie game we can get our hands on and today we're going to be taking a look at Bullet Beat for the Nintendo Switch. And pardon the pun, but I was actually a little bit blown away by this one because as you can imagine from the blend of unique genres that is arcade style shooter combined with a bullet hell overlaid onto a rhythm game, there is a lot of potential for it to just kind of be a fail. And in all honesty, that's one of the reasons I've been putting off this review for so long is because I couldn't really tell if it was gonna be one. But as I am happy to report, I actually had a pretty great time with it. Now, as a classic arcade style shooter in its most fundamental state of the genre, there's absolutely no story. Because in all honesty, we don't really need one. And so while I would like to assume that I am some champion of justice defeating some evil alien horde, well, there's really no way to tell for sure and I could probably be the bad guy. Which, on its own level, makes it almost a little bit cooler. But getting into the actual mechanics, the entirety of Bullet Beat is divided across eight levels, with the eighth level actually being subdivided into a three-part boss rush. And also in line with the genre of the classic arcade shooter, there's really nothing more you have to be responsible for other than moving and shooting. And that's pretty much it. You just move and shoot, man. You move and shoot. That is, until you pick up some randomly dropped upgrades, because then you start moving and shooting like a god. But unlike in some other shooter games that you may have played, these power-ups don't last for eternity. They actually only last for about 45 seconds or so. And so you'll need to move and shoot as effectively as possible, blasting every enemy you can get to get as many random drop power-ups as you can. And of course, at the crescendo of every single level, there will be a boss fight. But as most of the pixel work in the game, if you can really call it pixel work, renders every single boss as kind of just a blob. And so sometimes figuring out what their weak spots are, if there are any to be had, can take a little bit of trial and error and a little bit of player intuition. And so if you are like me and you do enjoy the genre, but some of the bullet hell style elements really push you to your limits, thankfully there are multiple modes of difficulty. And I do have to admit there were a small amount of levels that I did have to play like a flippin' casual in casual mode, because in all honesty, Bullet Beat is actually a really challenging little game. But before you go thinking that playing in any other mode besides hard is just a walk in the park, really the reduction in difficulty only comes in the form of giving you a little bit additional health, as well as increasing the rate at which random power-ups drop. And so even comparing casual mode to hard mode, there is no reduction in enemies. The bosses aren't really easier to beat. You can just sponge up a little bit more damage and maybe become a little bit more OP a little bit faster. Which I have to say was actually pretty gratifying. Because while Bullet Beat is only an 8 level game, and if you count every single one of them it's only an 11 level game, including all of the boss rushes, it is just short enough to really actually feel like you want to go back and challenge yourself to play on harder difficulty modes. Which I did, and it was fun. Did I beat the game on hard mode? No I did not. But moving away from the game's general mechanics and looking at it visually, the aesthetics of the game are pretty awesome. But please do pay attention to the seizure warning because the flashing pulsating lights that beat along with the rhythm probably won't be good for your eyes if you have any sort of photosensitivity. But beyond that, somehow Bullet Beat made a seemingly low pixel count game into an incredibly high def experience. And this wasn't just because of the background work and the audio quality, but the movements and animations. It just made it all feel like it was retro done modern instead of modern done retro. If that makes any sense to anyone else but me. But on the note of audio, yeah, the audio soundtrack is, is flippin' awesome. And it's not just the soundtrack. Going back to the earlier blend of genres that I mentioned in the opening of the review, I talked about the fact that this is overlaid into the skin of a rhythm game vis-a-vis -vis bullet beat. And one of the coolest things that it actually took me a couple levels to realize is that when your bullets impact the enemy, it actually does augment the soundtrack by adding a new beat to the actual background music. And I know it's a little thing and I'm probably nerding out about it too much, but it was just really cool to discover. But anyway, moving on from the general gaming mechanics and its audio and visual presentation, there are a few things that a player would want to probably be aware of before diving into bullet beat. And not the least of which would be the actual photosensitivity warning. Please do pay attention to that. But other than that, noting that the game is, is pretty short. Only having eight levels with the eighth level being a three-part split 
even considering the difficulty and the challenge, it only took about an hour to beat. But like I mentioned earlier, the difficulty and challenge level as well do make it a really, really fun to go back and see if you can best it on a harder difficulty mode. But the next and possibly final critique for the game is, again, in its genre. Bullet Beat is being sold as a rhythm game, and if you are a fan of rhythm games and you're looking at the video footage over my shoulder, you're probably wondering how exactly does the rhythm fit in? You're not clicking your ship through various lanes, you don't have to fire at certain intervals. The enemies don't come down the screen like notes in Guitar Hero. And so in that sense, the rhythm element of Bullet Beat is pretty much only concerned with the soundtrack. And so if you are a rhythm game fan, while the music's gonna be great, and you'll probably have a fun time playing with the soundtrack and shooting enemies and making your own audio augmentations, it's possible that you might be a little disappointed because it doesn't follow the mechanics of a rhythm game. But taking a step back and looking at Bullet Beat as a whole package, especially in considering of its price, which is only about $5 USD, it is an absolutely great little retro arcade style shooter. Is it the best one that's ever been made? Probably not. But is it really fun and cheap and new? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But anyway, that does bring us to the end of the review of Bullet Beat now on the Nintendo Switch. So if you enjoyed the review, or especially if you found it helpful, feel free to throw us a like or a comment to show your support. And don't forget to click that little bell icon when you subscribe to stay updated with the latest content. Because as you can see, there are new and unique indie games coming out literally every single day. So whether it's an easy hard pass or an absolutely unforgettable gem, chances are if it's on the Switch, you're going to find out about it right here. But anyway, this has been the Budget Gamers. As always, thanks for watching.